Hi, I'm Katie Adams. Welcome to Fuels Restored, a Savannah Institute agroforestry demonstration farm. In 2015, the Williams family took 20 acres of former cropland and turned it into an agroforestry and perennial paradise, planting a windbreak, alley cropping with hay and June berries. We also planted an edible riparian buffer. So come on, let's go check it out. Fields Restored Demonstration Farm in Northern Illinois features alley cropping, a windbreak, silvopasture, and a multifunctional riparian buffer. Four of the five agroforestry practices supported by the USDA. The Williams family owns and manages Fields Restored in partnership with the Rogers family and the Savannah Institute. The farm includes just over 15 acres of fruit and hay alley cropping, which provides food for livestock, wildlife, and human enjoyment. The alley cropping system is planted with hazelnuts, juneberries, blackberries, and other productive fruit and nut species. The Williams steward the crops for humans and help maintain the alleys, while the Rogers family harvests hay for their cattle. This system is uniquely theirs, designed to match the equipment of both farm families and the needs of each production system. Another key consideration in design is the ripening windows of each food crop. The system is designed so that the hay production windows and fruit harvest windows do not overlap. Hay production between fruit and nut plantings not only help produce a second crop on the same land, but maintains the ground cover between rows, which helps keep root in the ground and weed pressure low. The windbreak, located on a ridge at the north side of the alley cropping acres, provides a buffer between adjacent conventional cropland and their specialty crops, while also serving as a wind block, erosion stop, wildlife habitat, and additional productive acres. The windbreak features a multi-species design with a combination of fast and slow growing trees with complementary growth habits to create the most effective buffer. These species include hybrid poplar, hazelnuts, willow, and several types of evergreens. In 2020, the relationship deepened among the partners when the farm added a 15-acre civil pasture and riparian buffer demonstration that was designed by the Savannah Institute to support the Rogers family cattle operation. The civil pasture planting includes islands of native trees planted into a continuously grazed pasture. Designed as an experiment, this planting features two different size islands, 6 meters by 6 meters and 12 meters by 12 meters, as well as four different combinations of tree species to support pasture fertility, limit shade impact, and to be compatible with cattle. Those species include black walnut, hybrid poplar, alder, and a mix of native species well suited for the oak savanna ecosystem that covers the upper Midwest. The islands are fenced with no ground cover to protect trees during establishment from cattle in the pasture. The pasture also features a border of oak, willow, and black locust trees that provide both shade and fodder for cattle. A small two-acre riparian buffer was also established to help protect a creek that runs through the southern portion of the pasture. That features things like dogwoods, pawpaws, buttonbush, and other lots of yummy things for both conservation and profit. This increases water quality and provides beauty throughout the farm. Check out our website, savannahinstitute.org slash events for opportunities to visit a demonstration farm or apply for technical service. 